Hello everybody and welcome to my gaming channel, it's Splash 40 and I'm doing my review regarding the Vengeance DLC map pack, the four multiplayer maps. This is Rush and Rush takes place on a paintball area, a uh, paintball fighting uh, ground so to speak and here I'm trying to cap B and luckily I hear or see that someone is behind me so I can solo cap and that is not so usual you can do that because very often you will get grenades or C4 spammed into it so you might want to use a trophy system but anyway I got it here and as you can see there's a lot of paint on the walls everywhere it would be fun though if you could play with the paint balls that would have been awesome but anyways, I think this is quite a fun map. There's a lot of cover to use, as you can see. Uh, there's also uh, areas where you can go from the right side or as well as the left side to reach either A or C. And as a team, you gotta be a team player, so you also have to shoot down the support. But that was not what I was about to say. No, that you have to be aware of the sides because easily you can have uh, the enemy at your back all of a sudden so you gotta think of that if you're flanking or you want to get flanked well I don't think you want to but so what do you think about this map well it's quite fun actually in the beginning I was a little bit confused because as you know the spawns in this game can sometimes be a little bit hard to predict but I think if you are like here if we have C and B uh, it's quite easy to predict that they will definitely come from the A area so if you don't push that hard you you will be able to uh, keep track of what's happening uh, on the course and uh, be quite successful with your gameplay I think. So what about um, some kind of judgment or what do I think and uh, well I will give this uh, map uh, 3 out of 5 actually and it will sound like this I'll give it 3 car horns. Now that was a terrible sound, but that is what I feel for the map. Uh, why not 5? Well, I will come to that later when we talk about the other maps. But hey, I've been enjoying playing this one and uh, I hope you guys will do that as well. I would like to hear what you think about the map and of course the DLC as a whole. Okay, we're moving on and we're now playing Summit. Uh, no, not Summit of course. Well, this is Uplink. But it's a sort of uh, upgrade or brought in an old map into this DLC and the question is do you guys think that's okay? I mean we have all the time in the world to do some new maps and put into uh, these uh, DLCs that comes out. But on the other hand I must say it's okay for me because Summit, if you think of it, it's a good map uh, in Black Ops, the first Black Ops, it might not, not, might not be the best one, but I still think it's so good that it really makes a difference into uh, Black Ops 2, because some of the original maps in Black Ops 2, at least I don't think, are that super good. So, uh, T-Bank. So, welcome Uplink to Black Ops 2. I think you are a good addition to uh, the maps in general. So, is it something on the map that's new? Some details or something? Well, if you guys know something about that, please let me know because I haven't seen anything different. Maybe some settings, some colors or, or things like that, but otherwise we do know this map pretty well. And as I said, I think it's a good addition to, uh, to this map pack, this DLC. And what about um, my thoughts overall? Well, as I said, I like it. I think this is a solid map and the map design is pretty good. And therefore, I think I will give this map 3 out of 5 as well. 3 car horns, here it comes. So I guess the variation is good, but you get some new maps now and then. Otherwise, at least I would get quite bored. I mean, it's fine and we have different games to play. I am not a Call of Duty guy that plays Call of Duty 24 hours a day. <laughs> Definitely not. I enjoy other games as well, as you can see on my channel. But I like this franchise overall. I have played the games for a long time and uh, 
Therefore, I also like to do this kind of review to take a look into it, give my thoughts, but also hear from you guys. I want to hear a lot from you. What do you think about these maps and the game in general? But now we're leaving uh, Uplink and we're going into the map Detour. Now, this map is uh, really... Uh, oh, that was not <laughs> bad to happen. <laughs> <laughs> it's really disaster in a way because it has been a either uh, a war zone here you can see the city behind there and or a catastrophe of something or earthquake or whatever there's a lot of abandoned cars and uh, so uh, the map is quite linear it goes in a straight line but as you can see here you can also go underneath it so you have to be careful if you play a game type like domination here once again in order not to get flanked from the sides or even from underneath you have to be aware of the passages going there so uh, here we have cap uh, i think a and b right so and as you can see you can snipe without a scope it works obviously uh, but in the beginning I didn't like this map so much to be honest um, it was too another close quarter map I thought and I was like hey come on guys give me something else but after a while I can have quite fun on the map and uh, I think it's okay I can say that it's okay for me uh, maybe you love it I don't know let me hear about it but I give it two out of five I hope I didn't blow your ears out so that, that was my thoughts about that but again uh, some days uh, a certain map is more fun than another and I guess that goes for this map detour as well it's quite beautiful if you take the chance to look out from the sides you can see like uh, the sea uh, the water is running under the bridge and you have like the skyline of the city so it's pretty neat to look at if you have the time but we don't have time, no, we have to move on. And here we go, lads, into the last map for today, which is Cub. Now, Cub for me is a very nice map, and I'm glad that Treyarch put this map into the DLC. Why? Because, well, two things. First of all, it's a large map, and I do think we have enough of large maps in this game, and it also gives you the possibility to by the way don't go out in the water there's some sharks over there okay but it gives you the possibility to move around the island because this is like a caribbean island it's very colorful map and i like that as well and uh, it's like a robinson cruise <laughs> kind of place and again of course b is situated in the middle but I think Treyarch has started to think about uh, regarding cover around the B flag. So here also you have the cliffs going down and of course, okay, I have a trophy system as well. But this gives you some additional cover and some time to cap B. And there's a wrecked plane there as you can see, so I guess someone just came down a bit too hard with the plane on this island. I hope no one got hurt. But once again, I like this map. Maybe the most out of these four maps so I would say probably this is my favorite uh, out of these four maps regarding the Vengeance DLC map pack uh, I don't know about you guys again let me know what you think because at least this is only my opinion and maybe after a month I will think differently I don't know but for now definitely and uh, there's a lot of as you can see in the look on the minimap, you see uh, that people are trying to come on the sides. And you can also go very far out, uh, running actually a bit in the water, which is quite nice if you want to try to flank the enemy. Uh, as you see here, it's quite beautiful actually. I would like to take a bath, but there's no time. And actually we're coming also to an end, and I have to give some kind of grade, or whatever you might want to call it, to this map. And I'm going to give it 4 out of 5. Thanks for watching. See you guys. Bye-bye.